Good morning guys. Doing some goose hunting again. We're in a field and I don't know how this day is going to go. I might have just had practice pulling all the decoys out of the trailer and putting them back in. So um, yesterday I went to work. I scouted a little bit before I left and around 8 o'clock there was nothing on the roost. The water was open though. So I don't know what's going on. Maybe the birds went to feed early yesterday. Haven't seen any flying yet today. Two days ago, this field was right under their flight line. There's been swans in this field, so we might get to see some swans, maybe decoy some swans, which would be really cool. But um, yeah, I don't know. We're gonna basically just play the traffic game here this morning. And if we don't get any geese, we've got other things that we can do today. But got the HD honkers out here. They look good. Got practice putting six dozen of those things out. And uh, got some sleeper shells over on the edges of the spread. And I'm hunting it out of a layout blind, believe it or not. Um, this is the Final Approach Knockout Blind. I love this blind. I'll show you guys more about this later, but um, got the electronic hot seat in there, got the knockout blind, brushed it in real good. So I think everything looks good. Maybe we'll see some geese. I'm guessing we'll probably see some swans. The swans have been in this field two days in a row. So actually three, I believe. So maybe we'll see some swans and hopefully we'll see some geese. Here come the swans. Let's see if we can get some video of them. Going to decoy swans. Oh my gosh. These things are nasty. Freaking huge. was so freaking cool. Oh, I never really said in the past that I've wanted to shoot a swan. And I still really, I don't necessarily. It seems like a lot of work just to make a trip for one bird. But that, that was freaking cool. I mean, was that's basically a swan hunt right there without shooting. I mean, I shot him with the camera. So, boom. Swan for the day, done. Oh man, those have been chip shots too. That was cool. So the other day, I saw swans flying first, and then the geese came. So, we'll see. This morning's goose hunt didn't really go that great. Didn't even see a goose. I haven't seen a goose all day. So my guess is probably correct that the geese that I saw on Wednesday are gone. So we're going to go and uh, do some small game hunting again. I've got a good feeling about this. I never hit this the last time I went, so we're going to hit this and see how we do. The swans over the decoys, it was pretty cool. It made it all worth it to set all the decoys. Plus I got the trailer a little more organized, which is good. So um, yeah, let me know down in the comments what you guys think of those swans and the decoys. That was, that was pretty cool stuff. But I'm gonna start walking this cover, see if we can get a rabbit, squirrel. Still waiting to see a quail. I, I at least just wanna see a covey of quail and just 
see a covey of quail. So we'll, we'll push this cover here and see what we do. There's a bunny. That was a pop shot if I've ever seen one. Where'd he go? I think this rabbit came down here and shot up that way, so let's see what we can do. Well, spot number one had one opportunity and it slipped away, that slick little rabbit. He went down in that little uh, creek channel there and never saw him again. So got another group of trees here we're gonna work in, maybe we'll kick something up.